Okay, it's getting late in the season. Yeah, still got a few things to do in the greenhouse. The snow seems to be staying. It's staying in the minuses, so before the greenhouse freezes right up, I uh, just got a few jobs to do. So, I'll clean it up here, pop the door open. Oh, uh, Jack Frost has been here. He's left his mark. It means it's fairly warm in the greenhouse still. Open the door, have a look. It's almost like a different world walking into here. But there are the kales there. That uh, curly kale, it's a survivor, man. It's you, you, I wouldn't eat it. It's gone a little rubbery now. But all these uh, dirt beds and these hanging planters, yeah, i got to address all that stuff. But... Seeing how it's a little bit warm in here today, which is what, like four degrees, three to four degrees, I gotta clean out all these gravel beds. So the gravel's right full of roots right down to the bottom, so I'll shovel out of this one and uh, put it into the wheelbarrow, picking the roots out as I go. So a fair bit of work to do here. So I'll get it done and uh, show you what's up. There's a wheelbarrow full. There's as many roots as I care to pick out of one. It's a fair bit of work. So there's one empty drum. I got seven more to go. This uh, uh, bell siphon, I'll clean it out, hose it right out. Um, it's just amazing how great these things worked all summer. Took through her two or three tries of uh, fills to get the right level for it to uh, work proper, but they just, no malfunctions at all throughout the whole year. So what I'll do is I'll get the hose, I'll wash this one out, and I'll take the gravel out of the one beside it, shovel into this one, cleaning the roots out as I go. So uh, there's only seven more to go. So I'll uh, I'll get at it and then uh, I'll show you what it's like when it's done. So these two beds here, I believe, will be the heaviest rooted uh, because that's where the majority of the peppers were, and man, they put out a lot of roots. So I'll get at it and uh, show you what it's like. So there they are. I got them all cleaned up, washed up. The sub tank is uh, all empty to clean them out a bit. A little bit of dirt and a far one, but it's not going to hurt anything. So there it is, ready to go for spring. So the next day I come out here and uh, you can see the, uh, we call this the dinosaur kale because it grows so big. It's wilted pretty good now. It's done. It's not going to come back. So these dirt beds got a bit of carrot in them. Got some uh, beets in it, these two spots where there's all this gravel, the wheelbarrow fell over on me. So I'm just going to shovel that little bit of gravel in there. Not going to hurt anything. <coughs> a couple of beets left growing here, I'll get rid of them. So I'll get at it and uh, show you when it's done. So there they are done. Uh, it's uh, beet tops, carrot tops, beds are all dug in, nice, ready to go for the spring. Uh, I got a few carrots that I missed earlier, the small ones that are, you know, the size of the end of your thumb from the first knuckle out. But there's enough there for uh, a good super stew. Yeah, put the light on, there you go. So, those are uh, not going to waste. Okay, next project out here is the next day. It's a little warmer out here today. It's uh, 4 or 5 degrees, so this is the cucumber I saved. To make get my seeds for next year, so I got a little tree that's sitting in here. So I just cut it in half, and scrape out the seeds. Not hard to do. I scrape them into this tree just because it's easier to handle. You don't have to try and pick them up because uh, I do leave this outside and was out here in the greenhouse, and it's probably frozen thawed a couple of times. So it's pretty slimy inside. So the seeds are uh, quite wet, quite moist, so get them all scraped out here. And maybe 
show you here in the container. Well, it's hard to see. Uh, it's almost like a, a slimy gelatin that they're all floating around in. So we get some paper towels and spread them out on there. That'll dry them up. I'll just layer them in here. And there's a cucumber plant I had last year that the seeds came from. So there's the husks. There's my seeds for next year. I'll let them all dry like that. Get all that slime off them. And uh, in a couple of days, I'll uh, pick them all apart, put them in a seed bag, label them up. But I'll do that inside the house because uh, although it's six degrees in here, tomorrow it might not be. Okay. So that's that. So in the house we go. There they are. A couple of days, they're all dried up. But they're all stuck to the paper towels. I figured I'd just pick them off with a pair of tweezers. Uh, but no, nah, it ain't happening. They're uh, stuck pretty good. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to pitch them all off with my fingers and uh, I'll get back to you. There we are. All the seeds are picked off. This is uh, quite sufficient for what I'm going to plant next year. Great uh, cucumbers for pickles. Um, I'll bag them and tag them. And ready to go. Now this winter's project, I got uh, some lettuce growing, uh, cracky method. So I got four uh, nest pots in there and there's like a month later we've been picking sandwiches off these uh, lettuce here but uh, we could probably get a whole salad bowl out of there now. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have fresh lettuce in the middle of the winter. We'll keep them going. So there's the uh, lemon tree clones that I did. There's four of them up here with the lettuce. Um, they seem to be doing great. Um, the original lemon tree that I have, uh, I think I watered it way too much when I first brought it in and it lost all its leaves. But the lemons, you know, there was six of them. They seem to be uh, hanging in there and they're pretty much all ripe now. So I'll just keep them on the tree. We've got three left here they're all ready to go. Just lemon and water or sometimes make a lemon pound cake and it's good to have fresh lemons. Okay, well thanks for watching.